are five awful lenses that people are stupidly addicted to. Meaning these lenses suck. They absolutely suck. Not only are they insanely overpriced, but they suck. And uh, Nikon shouldn't even make them. <laughs> um, every car company, though, has like a vanity car. It's like the same model car, except they stick some gold trim on it and like put some fancy leather inside and charge an astronomical amount of money and then they sell it to dumbasses. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, here are those lenses from Nikon. And nobody can argue for them because they have no evidence. Let's uh, provide uh, some uh, five lenses here. The 200mm f2. Astronomically expensive, enormous lens that is abysmal. Way too much glass in it. Way too front heavy. I don't care if you got the arms of Schwarzenegger. The lens is an obnoxious joke. What's better for infinitely less money? 180mm 2.8 D-series Nikkor. Better saturation, better micro contrast, smaller, lighter, just as good, far better rendition than the 200mm f2. The people that own this, they think that they're professional because, oh look, I've got a big piece of glass. There is absolutely nothing magical or nothing special about the 200mm f2 other than the fact that it is obnoxiously huge and obnoxiously expensive. It is uh, photographic lens pornography for the intellectually inept. I know of in nobody, and even Zach Arias even mentioned this lens being an obnoxious joke. There's some video where even Zach Arias, it just flashed into my brain, and I remember laughing about it because he, he remembers using this lens, and then he said something like after he's done with the shoot with it, he was just like, you know, beating himself up mentally for using this stupid lens. I was like, yeah, there's a good guy right there. It's like, wow, someone is actually knows what the hell they're talking about. Um, another lens, 24mm f1.4. I mean, I hate to say this, and if you own this lens, I'm sorry, but if you bought a new one of these lenses, unless you found one, like, used for really, 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 the, the lens is a stinking joke. The 24mm f1.8 is 800 bucks. I own that lens. It's incredible. For between f1.8 and the f1.4, which is astronomically expensive, a joke, and abysmally soft and nasty at f1.4, it, you're just flat out a knucklehead if you want. Well, it's so huge. People have this thing. They have a, a huge, yeah, it's called HLS, huge lens syndrome. Ooh, this is impressive. I bet it makes awesome bokeh. No, you're a fool. It, it's a vanity lens. It's a joke. Well, no, well, it has its own rendering at f1. Yeah, you're right. At f1.4, it looks crappier than the 24mm 1.8 does at 1.8. No, it's not. The 17 to 35 2.8 Nikkor, obnoxiously expensive. It has two plastic composite elements in it. For a $2,000 lens, the lens is old. It should have been discontinued a long time ago. The lens is a stinking joke. I, said, I didn't say 17 to 55. I said 17 to 35. Horrible lens. Um... Another one, and I actually own it except in the D version, is the G series. It's a proven fact that the 85mm 1.8G is superior, better resolution, better rendition than the 85mm F1.4G. It's better, period. It's a better lens. If you want to pay an astronomical amount more for an F1.4 or 85mm uh, F1.4G, go ahead and do it. You're, you're pissing your money away and you're being a fool. I don't care if you have unlimited funds. You know, so well, I got plenty of money. I can buy. Good. Go buy it. Go waste your money. I don't care how much money you got. Sounds great. There's nothing there. There's absolutely nothing there. Here's another lens, as the old saying goes. I don't know how old the saying is. It's like, it's an answer to a question nobody was asking. You ever heard that one before? It's a really good one. You should remember it. It's an answer to a question that nobody was asking. The uh, 105mm f1.4 Nikkor. Obnoxious lens. I've proven that it's got swirly bokeh, cat's eye bokeh. It's soft. The micro contrast is horrible. The saturation is abysmal. It is absolutely a Hindenburg and Titanic abysmal saturation. Everybody that buys this lens. And Nikon is on a full blown mission with all its uh, Nikon ambassadors just to prove how awesome this horrible lens is. Well, what they don't tell you is that these ambassadors are like uh, 
dropping in tons of sharpening, tons of saturation. They're going in in Photoshop and just dragging the saturation way over there. Wah! It's a vanity lens. It's Nikon's way of saying, yo, man, we got the world's fastest portrait lens at 105 millimeter. Yeah, it's the F1.4, which Tamron is about to surpass it, by the way. They're going to come out with an, a 105 F1.2. Yeah, it is Tamron, isn't it? Yeah, whether that's next year or... I think it's next year they're coming out with that lens. Horrible lens. Tested it, posted up test shots. The people that are in love with this lens are idiots. They don't know what a good lens is versus a bad lens. They don't know anything. They think resolution is everything, and they think the the shallower the depth of field, the better a lens is. I love the fact that, you know, when I take a picture of uh, my sister, the only thing that's in focus is two millimeters of her pupil. You know, like when she cocks her head over this way, the only shit's in focus is right here. Right here. A little bit tighter. Yeah, right here. Right between this part of the pupil and like a millimeter and a half to the... That's the only part that's in focus. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that does not make for beautiful portraiture. You're an idiot. Of course, that depth of field increases at distance. Still doesn't look good because the saturation is bad, the bokeh is bad, the micro contrast is bad. Horrible lens. Made in China. It's marked a silent wave motor, but it doesn't have a true ring ultrasonic motor in it. It has a plastic micro motor in it. Kind of like a little gerbil on a fly, a gerbil on a wheel. Hamster on a wheel. Yeah. Plastic gears. Uh huh. So those are the four, the five lenses that are an absolute joke from Nikon. They are as obnoxiously absurd as they are obnoxiously expensive, and the people that buy them are clueless. Well, you just can't afford those lenses. Oh, wait till I, I show you what I bought for myself for Christmas. It's on its way here. It's about yay big, about meow and meow. I'll show you that lens in a few days when it gets here. Meow and meow. You know, and that $2,800, 70-200, 2.8e Nikkor that I just bought, the new Nik, that lens is incredible. I regret testing that lens because it was so awesome, I had to buy it. It's like, damn! I've been waiting years and years for that lens, however. So, I don't really mean that, but I do. My wallet's still squealing. <laughs> so those are awful lenses from Nikon. I love Nikon. You know, I'm not putting Nikon down, but those lenses suck. They suck. There are many valid, empirical, objective, quantifiable, existential criteria for why those lenses suck. Okay? Uh, but I'm sure that if you've only ever used like eight lenses in your life and you own one of those lenses and you highly protest what I just said, I'm sure you know more than I do. You know? Hey, it's your photography. You buy whatever the hell you want. If you want to buy uh, inflated garbage, then you go right ahead. If it makes you happy, go do more of it. You know, some people like to smoke cigarettes. Some people like to dance among the minefields. You know, some people like to do base jumping. All sorts of stupid stuff people like to do that makes them happy. You do what you do, and if that means buying a stupid lens that Nikon makes for no valid, logical, intelligent reason, then you should uh, keep on doing that. You know, I, I will support you. I will support you fully in that regard. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Ba -da -ba -da -ba.